dear students welcome to our good samaritan school online class and uh, this is the class for medical diagnostic students of class 12 already we have learned about the topic of bleeding time test and today we are going to learn about the topic named as clotting time test usually we have to perform the test of clotting time with the help of the method named as lee white method it is basically a screening test to measure the efficiency of all stages of intrinsic pathway of the coagulation so it is the one is the screening test uh, just to maintain measure the efficacy of all stages of intrinsic pathway that is one okay one part and in another part you can use the clotting time test by lee white method just to find out Uh, just to find out it as a diagnostic tool of the snake venom induced coagulopathy and to monitor the anti venom therapy efficacy so two parts are there in clotting time test by lee white method the first part is just to measure the efficiency of all stages of intrinsic pathway and the second stage the second part is the diagnostic tool of snake venom induced coagulopathy and to monitor the anti venom venom therapy efficacy now what are the different equipments you need the first one you need the water bath or the dry bath where the 37 degree centigrade temperature will be maintained then test tube we will need stopwatch will be needed disposable syringe is needed cotton and spirit is needed and the method will be used here is named as the lee white method which kind of sample do you need 4 ml of fresh whole blood so how can you perform the procedure first what you have to do 2 ml of blood you have to take and you have to put 1 1 ml in each test tube that means in two test tube you have to put 1 1 ml blood in each and immediately you have to start the stopwatch now in the second part the test tubes will be kept in the water bath or the dry bath and the temperature will be controlled at 37 degree centigrade and the test tube mouth will be plugged by cotton after about 3 minutes take out one tube tilt it gently at 45 degree angle and observe whether the blood has clotted and not you have to repeat this procedure in every 30 seconds till the blood clots and you have to record the total time and you have to confirm the observation by checking the second tube also one can further the observe the clotted blood for clot retraction or the clot lysis time that means when the blood will be clotted after that also you can continue the test just to find out the clot lysis time also okay now let us see the clotting time test by lee white method with the help of one video clotting time the clotting time is used to diagnose coagulation disorders and is the time taken for a blood sample to clot or coagulate in vitro lee and white method requirements standard size tubes water bath with thermometer equipment for phlebotomy syringe with needle spirit and swabs gloves procedure collect venous blood according to the technique described in the phlebotomy section pour the collected blood sample in two standard size glass tubes start the stopwatch keep these tubes at 37 degrees centigrade in a water bath after 2 minutes tilt the tubes for blood clot check for clotting in both tubes at every 30 seconds coagulation time is the time from the moment of puncture to the average time at which the tubes can be tilted to an angle more than 90 degrees without spilling the blood when blood clots in both tube take the average time for clotting this is the clotting time for this demonstration 
The time recorded for the first tube is 5 minutes 35 seconds. And for the second tube is 5 minutes 43 seconds. Therefore, the clotting time would be the average of the two readings. Normal values of clotting time range between 2 minutes to 7 minutes. So, that the error can be occurred while during the test. The volume of the blood, if it will be less than 1 ml, then the error can be occurred. If the inaccurate temperature will be maintained in the water bath rather than 37 degrees centigrade, then also the error can be occurred. And if there is any agitation of the specimen, then also the error can be occurred. And uh, the reference range is usually uh, 2 to 7 minutes as uh, shown here. But uh, the reference range can be uh, just it can be nominated by 5 to 12 minutes also. Min means maximum 5 to 12 minutes also we can note it down. And interpretation uh, means what kind of disease or clinical condition can be diagnosed by the clotting time test. If the clotting time test is prolonged. So, three kinds of situation, three kinds of clinical condition can be occurred. The first is patient on heparin. If the patient is taking any kind of drug which is containing the heparin or anticoagulant, then the clotting time can be prolonged. In the second case, if the patient is suffering from the DIC, that is the disseminated intravascular coagulation, disease. It is a condition where the blood clots from the throughout the body and then if the blood will be clotted throughout the body it will block all the small blood vessels and it is very dangerous condition. And in case of severe hemophilia, in case of severe hemophilia what is happening there is the deficiency in the factor 8 and what is the name of factor 8 that is anti-hemophilic factor. So, if it will be happen, so uh, in case of surgery or tooth extraction or any kind of minor injury, what will happen? The bleeding will be occurred and there is spontaneous hemorrhage. And in that case also, prolonged clotting time can be observed. And where the decreased clotting time we can see? If the state is called as the hypercoagulation and hypercoagulation is a condition that causes your blood to clot more easily than the normal. Okay, that means it will be very, it will take very less time to be coagulated and this kind of situation can be generated if the person is suffering from the condition like obesity or pregnancy or the patient is taking any kind of birth control pill or the patient is suffering from the cancer. I hope you all have understood and uh, today I have given you the assignment uh, from the topics of blood, bleeding time test and clotting time test. You have to complete it by tomorrow. Okay. So best of luck students and you all keep learning. Thank you very much.